Hello Gemini, how are you? And welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. Uh, we're gonna take these cards, okay? I'm gonna take this deck. So, yes, welcome to my channel and welcome to your reading. So, this is your reading for the month of December. This is a general reading, check what resonates, only what doesn't, energies might be vice versa, and time is fluid, okay? Gemini, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Gemini, there is an extended reading for this one, and if you are interested in the same, if you are excited to know what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person, then you can go ahead and you can check out the link that has been provided in the description box and in the comment section. Okay, in the extended reading, we'll also see how does your love life and life in general looks for the next couple of months. Okay, so let's get started now. In this YouTube reading, we'll see uh, what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with, and what is the mutual energy between you and this person. Okay, so let's get started now. Hmm. So for you, I have is High Priestess and Three of Wands and Ten of Cups. For your person... I have is Devil, Ten of Swords, and Seven of Pentacles. Mutual energy is that of Nine of Swords and the Lovers. Okay. Hmm. So, Gemini. You may be dealing with another Gemini. You may be dealing with a, with a Pisces, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You may be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay, uh, you may be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. And these are your cards, Gemini. Okay. So, High Priestess, then I have is Two of Wands and Ten of Cups. Okay. So... Gemini, what do you see when you close your eyes? Okay. Because that is something will decide the further course of action. Okay. Say for example, you are alone in your home. You you had a long day and you're coming back and you're resting in your home. You're alone in your home. Okay. You close your eyes. After closing your eyes, what do you see? Who do you see? Okay. Okay, I don't want in the comments, I see some utensils in the ki kitchen. I see what is the work that is pending in front of me. No, I'm not talking about that, okay? What I'm, sense, what I'm saying is, do you see someone when you close your eyes? Especially like, when you want some alone time, Okay, when you are truly present with yourself, okay, and you just sit in your room, you're relaxing, and you feel like, I need to close my eyes for some time, you close your eyes, do you see anyone? Okay, if you see, why I'm saying that who you see or what you see is going to decide a future course of action, because maybe... When you close your eyes, you see someone or you see a certain situation. Or maybe, if that is not the case, then probably you are dreaming about a certain situation about your own life. Okay? Say, for example, you see your past person. Okay? And when you are back in reality, say, for example, you open your eyes or you, you wake up and you are like, why did I see my ex in the dreams? Or when you were close, when you had closed your eyes and when you open up, you were like, I don't know why am I thinking about them? Why, why did they stand in front of me when I had closed my eyes? Okay. So maybe there are a couple of reasons like uh, why you see them. 
okay or why you see a certain situation with them with a three of wands you still want something from that past person okay now this is applicable only if you see someone from the past okay so if you see if you see a past person with a three of wands what i feel is probably probably you still are expecting something from them okay and once you come back in reality if you are thinking like why am i thinking about the past person now that i i want to move on now that i want someone new in my life why do i still find myself thinking about them why the thoughts of the past person are hitting my mind even as of now okay so probably your subconscious mind still your subconscious mind is still expecting something from them okay so like if you don't want your past person but if you are still thinking about them if you still dream about them if the thoughts of the past person still cross your mind then maybe some expectations are still attached to the past person to the past situation okay now it is up to you like you really want to move on then and if you're wondering why why the thoughts of the past person are are coming in my mind then there is some deep healing that is needed okay and if you don't want to move on if you still uh if you're still thinking about reunion with your past person okay then what i'm sensing is there is still some unfinished business between you and this person okay and there is a possibility of experiencing happiness and abundance with this person all over again but let me tell you gemini okay your own mind can also play games with you so you have to be careful with your own thoughts okay you have to be careful what are you manifesting okay if you want your past person just for an apology then stop thinking about them try to heal yourself from that situation heal yourself anyway whether you want to move on whether you want to go back to the past person okay <clears throat> if you don't want a past person if you want to move on and if you are still thinking about the about them then then some some deep healing is needed okay uh there is a lack of self love over you you need to make yourself happy you need to make some conscious efforts to make yourself happy okay and say for example if you're closing your eyes and you don't see the past person but you see someone and you don't know who this someone is okay if you dream about a certain situation uh, if you dream about a romantic situation with with a certain person but you don't see the face of that person then what i'm sensing is probably a, a soulmate is is around the corner okay and but what i'm sensing with that high priestess is you you see someone okay or you are sensing the energy of someone gemini either it is a past person either it is a new person you have to dive deep inside your mind like why do you feel the energy of someone why do you feel the energy of a past person or why do you feel the energy of someone and you don't know whose energy is that okay so you have to deep dive inside your mind okay and you you will have to, you have all the answers inside you okay and if you're still surprising yourself by thinking about the past person and if you want to move on heal yourself make some conscious efforts to uh, uh, to cut the cords with the past person okay make yourself happy there is a lack of self love over here make you sure, make yourself happy convince your mind convince your heart that uh, that the heart and the mind can be happy without the past person till the time you do not train your heart till the time you do not train your mind that yes both of you can be happy without the past person 
till that time you won't be able to move on convincingly okay so train your heart make your heart happy do some make some conscious efforts to to make your own heart happy okay and with the 10 of cups what i'm sensing is now again whoever you are manifesting whether it is a past person whether it is a new person with the 10 of cups i'm sensing that a long term situation is is about to happen okay the start of this long term situation will happen in 2022 okay you're going to meet someone like and this someone is going to be who you have manifested okay so yes there is going to be a beginning of a beginning of a long term situation over here okay so as far as your person is concerned we have is the devil we have 10 of swords and we have is 7 of pentacles yes this past person is still very obsessed about you this past person is wondering why you are walking away this past person is wondering like there was so much of love between you and them and look at this the way this person is holding his hand and the way she is walking away it's like stop this person is saying like stop wait don't walk away okay i want you i need you so it's not just about obsession or feeling possessive about you but this person in fact gemini they are also heartbroken over the fact that both of you are in no contact that both of you are in separation that both of you are are heading in different are heading in different direction and they are not liking it they 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 cannot they they had always thought of you as a uh, as a companion for eternity okay and of course they were expecting a romantic connection with you but even if you are unwilling for a romantic connection this person was looking forward to some sort of a companionship the priority is going to be romantic companionship but if that doesn't work out then at least friendship i want you as my friend i want you as my uh, you know like i want to have i want you as my 4 am friend so this person is hooked on to you okay and they they are not able to tolerate the fact that you are not a part of their life okay with that 7 of pentacles someone is brewing ideas of being with you from a long term perspective and this someone is this someone is is new and they are very secretive about their feelings they want to gauge how are you feeling about them okay this person will whosoever this i'm i'm getting a new energy from the 7 of pentacles okay they they will make efforts to be with you to spend some time with you they will they will slowly and steadily enter in your life and enter in your heart and your mind okay whosoever this next person is gemini they are very strategic very very strategic and very subtle like you will not even know and you will not even understand when this person uh, they became a a significant part of your life okay like and then they will be like let's let's get into a long term situation let's let's be let's let's have our own time okay so we have is nine of swords and lovers love is happening but what i'm sensing gemini is love is happening after a painful end okay something is ending and then the love of your life is going to happen okay now what is going to end a, a painful situation is ending so some of you a separation is ending and you're going back to the past person some of you you are completely cutting off the cords with the past person you are no more making them a part of your present and your future and you are moving on with a, with a new person okay so something is ending and some there is going to be a new beginning in your love life okay all right i hope this resonates hit like share and subscribe and comment down below and if you are interested in the extended link is in the description box and in the comment section we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person we'll also see uh we'll also see how does your love life and life in general looks for the next couple of months okay bye bye then